What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial. This tutorial is going to be concerning the module called Send Keys. The purpose of Send Keys is, well, to send some keys. And so you can open up a program and type in that program um, as if you were typing on your keyboard, right? So it's a little bit different. Obviously you can output various bits of text, you can save text to a file, but sometimes if you want to, um, or sometimes you may want to literally send keys as if you were typing on the keyboard. So with that, I'm going to do some basics of this module send keys. And uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is download send keys. You can get the tarball, you can do pip install, you can do pretty much all your favorite installation tactics. The easiest way to get and install it, however, is to use the following link here. I will put it in the description if I remember. If I don't remember, someone comment and I'll add it to the description. Um, and you'll want to download you know, uh, either 32-bit or 64-bit, and then whatever version of Python you have, hopefully 2.7. Once you've done that and installed it, you'll be able to come over to your script, and uh, usually it's always a good idea to check your installation. So bring over a quick interpreter and type in import capital S-E-N-D capital K-E-Y-S. As long as you don't have an error there, good job. If you do have an error, uh, something went wrong in the installation. If you can't figure it out, feel free to leave a comment below. Moving right along to our script. All we really need here is um, import send keys, just like we did a second ago. Although I'm also going to go ahead and import time, because we'll use that as a bit of a sleeper so I can uh, click away from the script and open up a notepad, or at least click on the notepad so that's where it'll type. So uh, we'll have time for now. The next thing that we want to do is let's just define main... And as usual, try accept exception e print string e. Try, what do we want to do? Um, first, let's say the string. So we'll say send me. That's going to be the string. And we're just going to have it say hello for now. And then we're going to have time sleep. We're going to have two seconds. And then what we want to do is actually activate the send keys. So set, activating send keys is as simple as, I'm going to copy and paste this, send keys. Send keys. And what you want to do is um, put whatever you want to send in here. So in our case, we want to do send me. And that's really it. So then we'll call main down here. Main. And let me bring up a notepad real quick. So we're ready to rumble when it's uh, when we run this. So come over here, save that, run that. Let me bring my mouse over here. And in a second, yeah, there we go. So it typed out hello for us. Now, if you want to take it a step further and have it say hello there, you'll quickly find that it's not the best. So we'll run it again. I'm just going to delete that. And as you can see, it did hello there, but it didn't do the space for us. So some of our smarter folks will be like, ah, I know what to do, I know what to do. And they'll do this. And uh, so let's see what happens if we use the, the space key. Even though we already have some there. Nope, does it exactly. Pretty annoying. But what you can do, there's a couple of methods you could use to get around this. One method uh, would be literally using these brackets because... Mm -hmm. Uh, you can do a few things, so like if you use these brackets and type in capital space, like so, we can bring this file over, uh, let's run that again, and this time it should do, yeah, so hello space there. You can do all kinds of other things too, like you can do um, a, a back space, so it'll be hell there, basically, <laughs> is what we're going to get uh, with this. Oh, shoot. Um, Interesting that it was all caps. Oh shoot, let's see. Oh, my my caps was uh, I had my caps lock on on my keyboard. I was like, what the heck? Anyway, let's run that one more time. So hell there. Um, so anyway, you can do backspace. You can also do uh, enter. So if you needed it to actually hit the enter key, um, it it was it's able to do that for you. So I'll just leave that there. So now you've got. Hello there, and I've got my enter key. Why do I keep? I wonder why I keep hitting my enter, or I mean my uh, caps lock. Oh, because we're typing it in here. <laughs> I was like, how did I keep having? Anyway, um, the next thing 
that you can do is you can have it like natively recognize spaces. Obviously, you can't have it natively recognize enter, but you can have it natively recognize new line, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So let's say you want hello there, and what you can do is in the send keys function, there are all kinds of parameters that you can put in here. So you can have it do um, recognize spaces, uh, new lines, tabs, and you can have it turn off um, the number lock because uh, it wants to natively use number lock. So let's say we want to have it recognize spaces. So to do that, with underscore spaces equals, set that to true. And we can also do, um, we'll leave that for now. So let's say we want that space. So then when, now when we run this, we come over here. Hello there. Cool. And then what if, what if we did want a new line? Let's run it. Come over here. Hello there. So as you can see, it didn't do a new line, but then you can say uh, with underscore new lines equals true. Save it, run it, come over here, and you see it made a new line for us. Now that pretty much covers what I wanted to show you guys. The last thing I'll show you guys is the combination of this plus uh, another tutorial I did as far as how to make Python open things up. So I put in... Um, a notepad file called example.txt in uh, the same directory as the script. So I'm going to import OS and then we're going to go here and we're going to say uh, os.start file and we want to start example.txt. So this will open up example.txt. This will specify, okay, hey, we want to, um, this is what we want to send. It's going to sleep for, we'll just change this now to a half a second really. And then it's going to go ahead and send the keys to that program. So let's go ahead and run this now. And it brings, ah, oh shoot, it was kind of not there. So let's try that again. Um, don't save. There we go. So that time you saw, you know, it opens up Notepad, types in the Notepad. So some programs, or a lot of programs, can be controlled um, very easily by just the keyboard, right? You don't need your mouse. And so you can do all kinds of various things uh, like this. And in the brackets, you can put all kinds of um, other keys that you might like page up, page down, insert key. You've got your alt keys, control key, and all that kind of stuff. So there's all kinds of things that you can do uh, with send keys. So that's it for the send keys tutorial. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out, or at least you found it interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions. And until next time.